Today is a first line day. So on first line days, we can tend to be really focused on finding the foundation or getting down to the details of things. What can be trusted? What's at the bottom? You know, what's at the root of things? So on first line days, we might be very detail oriented. There's a lot of supportive energy for letting go of things that don't serve us and for uh, getting to the root of the material way. There's a lot of material way activations happening right now. So the core of that is the ability to sell somebody on something. It could be a product, a service, it could be a um, value system, it could be some, you know, philosophical things. So there's a lot of persuasion in the air. There's a lot of smell potential for what could be successful. And there's a lot of conditioning pressure that if you're undefined in the heart center could lead you to think that you have to prove yourself to somebody. So be very careful on days like this if you're an undefined ego or heart person, that's 65% of us, if you have a willpower function defined in the transit or in the person next to you, what will happen is you usually start to promise and try to over deliver to prove yourself, yourself is worthy. So that's the thing to watch out for. If you find yourself as an emotional projector or a mental projector, which needs a process of uh, finding out what's true for them. So it, it requires time. Those examples with this kind of energy means that what can happen is you get conditioned to think that you have to snap to and make a decision right now to prove your value or your worth. So you say, yes, sir, I will, <laughs> or yes, ma'am, I will. So just watch for that, that you're not doing that uh, knee jerk reaction to the transits. And the other thing we have, which is the internal awareness of inner truth is that pressure to understand or uh, make sense of to know. That's a better word. <laughs> this is understanding on the side and um, make sense of is on the other side. The middle part is about knowing. So this mental thought process of going over and over and over again in your head, trying to figure things out. Why are things happening? What's actually happening? Why are we all here? What's going on? You know, the reason behind it all, the meaning behind it all. That's Pluto and Saturn and who else is giving us that energy uranus so there's a lot of mental looping thought patterns so you think oh well this is what it means i'm inspired i'm going to go answer this question i'm going to try and answer your question i'm going to try and argue my point and prove that i'm certain to you that's also something to watch out for both of these are in defined centers so you might um, let go of things that are good for you on days like this where we have this channel you might feel like okay I don't need that anymore and you let it go if you're particularly if you're undefined in the splenic system now with the heart center defined what you might notice is that now you have willpower so you find yourself if you're undefined here so you might find yourself saying I promise I will um, I have to I must I should so if you have an undefined heart center that's uh, kind of a danger zone to trying trying to convince people that you're good enough that might be how you your design interprets this channel which is about surrender design of a transmitter really it has the gift of persuasion being able to convince people of things or reframe things you might find these two channels are going to be quite common in the coming weeks because the nodal environments just shifted meaning the moon and its north and south nodes, which are positions in space, just moved into gates 45 and 26. So you'll notice maybe seeing out in the world people talking about who has what or who needs to have what. It's all about the ego as far as we versus them out there in the world. So that's something to watch out for. This week, people are going to be much more attuned to being afraid of what the future will bring so they might be really afraid of that and they might also have um, no fear just go ahead and embrace the future the other way that you, you can experience this the 51 is about courage or foolhardiness maybe leaping into being first on something so feeling like that sense of daring and being able and courage and being able to do something being the first to do something new and that's the dynamic that you're going to see this week at 70 percent of the energy stream so just watching for that, any kind of uh, feel, a, a, a strong need to have to prove your value and your worth. Okay, so that's something to watch out for, especially if you're one of the 65% that is not defined here. Now the other thing to watch out for 
and it's something that you might have been really familiar with, your mind looping over and over, same thought process over and over, trying to figure out why. What's happening? Why is it happening? What does it all mean? Where is it all going? So rationalizing inner truth. This is the channel of awareness design of a thinker. So if you're a head center and ashna center person, um, inspiration and conceptualization that is open, what you might find is now your mind is trying to make decisions based on what you think it means and what would be empowering. Yeah, to trying to prove certainty and trying to answer all these questions floating around in your head. So you stay up late at night and you um, get headaches because you're thinking too much. So letting go of the mind's busy chatter is my suggestion for this transit.